Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Morgan and I'm obsessed with all things beauty and skincare related. Today I'm super excited because I'm going to be unboxing, doing a first impression and a quick review on the La Mer, the foundation brush. You guys, this brush was $75. Say it with me you guys, a $75 brush. But of course, I love La Mer, so it doesn't matter to me. You guys, I just started dabbling in new La Mer, the Skin Color Day La Mer line. I had per recently purchased their Soft Fluid Foundation, and of course, because I was so obsessed, I then had to get their concealer. You guys, I have their concealer on right now, and let me tell you something, it just looks so natural. Anyway, so when I posted this video, a lot of people were like, okay, you like the foundation now, try the brush and you're gonna be amazed. So of course I had to. So I'm gonna unbox it with you guys today and let's just like get a first impression of it together. Of course, all my views are very honest. I don't get any of these products sent in PR. So quite frankly, <laughs> it doesn't really matter if I did get it in PR, girl. I'm still gonna be uh, spitting the tea, girl. I'm gonna be spilling, spitting, throwing everything. The tea, the coffee, the whatever. So let's open it. So it comes pretty typical uh, for their Skin Color Day La Mer line. It's, the trend seems to be this white cardboard packaging. And that just seems to be the trend for the, the cosmetic line. Their skincare, of course, always comes in that classic La Mer green. But just like the other two, this is what the packaging seems to be like for everything. I like it. I like that it's a little different from the skin the skincare packaging because uh, it just kind of sets their cosmetic line apart. So of course we have this beautiful La Mer symbol. This is raised right here. So of course the packaging feels sturdy. It does feel like a luxurious product that you're getting. It's not flimsy whatsoever. So I'm gonna open it up and ooh. Here is the brush. I don't see any additional instructions that, is it in the, okay, usually that La Mer gives you like a little like paper instruction list with their products. Anyway, it's a foundation brush. You guys, what, who also influenced me to get the foundation brush is actually, Actually, a La Mer ambassador, Patrick Ta, I was watching his videos applying the foundation and he was using this brush and I was like, wow, that looks so good. So shout out Patrick Ta. But okay, so this comes in like a plastic cover and then here is like paper to protect the handle, which we like. Now I just have to figure out how to open it. Okay, so there was like tape wrapped around here, so I got it off, it comes off smoothly. Oh my gosh, oh my goodness. Okay, how do I get this off now? Okay, oh, okay. That's off, that was a journey. But let's talk about this brush. Okay, let me give you the tour. So this is like a white acrylic, very sturdy, very strong. It does say La Mer right here in gold, and then over here, it actually will say foundation, which is very, very nice because I know that when you get into cosmetics and a lot of brushes, sometimes people don't know what brush is what. Do you know what I mean? Like if you look at this, if people don't wear a lot of makeup, they're not gonna know like which brush belongs where. So I really like that La Mer took the extra time to actually write foundation on the brush. It goes a long way, believe it or not. Next, you come up with like this chrome that is kind of typical in the other La Mer product, but like the Skin Color De La Mer products. But let's get to the important part, the brush. So this brush is insanely, insanely soft at first touch. You see it kind of gives you an ombre look. So you have the white here, which kind of goes in line with the sleek, like the sleekness of it, the entire product. And then it goes into like a tannish brown color, which I think will be nice because your brush is gonna look, you know, white with a ton of foundation on it. It's gonna have some nice curbside appeal, nice vanity side appeal. So I'm a fan of that. 
Now, I'm gonna read you a little bit about this and see what they're saying about it because for $75, I mean, that's very expensive for a brush. I think the most I paid for any other brush was like, I think this was like $40, $45. This is a MAC 150S brush. Um, this brush is nice. The bristles are definitely nice. You can tell it's a little more expensive, but they don't even compare to the softness of this Le Mer brush just FYI. And Mac is known for having really good brushes too. But I'm gonna have to give this one to La Mer. It is like incredibly, incredibly soft. Details, what it is, it's a foundation brush that helps smooth fluid foundation easily over the skin for meticulous application and flawless looks. This full luxurious brush makes applying foundation and concealer a pleasure. So you could use this for your concealer also. I wish I didn't apply it prior. The curved taper shape is designed to hug facial contours, build coverage, and blend flawlessly. Innovated with syn synthetic bristles for essential hygiene and simple care. That is what La Mer is all about. They're not about overdoing it. They're not about cakiness. They're not about full, 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 full coverage. They're about skin and that reflects in their cosmetic line. This stuff is, is also, in, this isn't infused with the Miracle Brush broth that I've seen. I don't know how they could, but all their products are infused with their Miracle Broth, which is in line with their skincare. So everything still, even though we're looking at makeup, it is still all about skin when it comes to the luxurious La Mer brand. How to use, use sweeping motions for lighter coverage or stippling dot and release motions to build richer coverage. Perfect. Also ideal for applying the concealer. Great, I have that. For care, wash and gentle cleaner, mild soap or shampoo weekly. Cleanse in the palm of your hand, rinse and lay flat on a towel to dry. Great, so it even gave us cleansing instructions. Let's get this on our face. One side I'm gonna try the sweeping motion and then the other side I'm gonna try the stippling motion. I do wanna let you guys know I have applied this foundation in the past with this brush and it did leave streak marks on my nose. So I'm curious to see how this brush is going to perform next to the Sigma Flat Top Kabuki F80 brush. Again, these bristles are rough compared to the insanely soft La Mer foundation brush. The color that I'm using is the Light Ochre, 230 Light Ochre. So we're gonna just, here's the foundation. I'm just gonna pat some on like this. Here it is on the foundation brush and let's just start sweeping. When I was watching Patrick Todd do makeup, he always starts from the center out for a more flawless, natural look. You want the front of your face to be as flawless as possible for pictures, and then as you sweep out, it's gonna fade and give you that more natural look so you don't look so covered, which we love. So let's start, and I'm gonna be looking in my mirror. Did you guys hear it sweeping? So this is definitely like a dense brush. Like you could definitely, it's not so fluffy like a brush like this where it's just like you, you apply it and it comes out like a powder. This is definitely a, I don't wanna say the word stiff, but it's definitely a firmer brush that's going to release your foundation. And I'm gonna be honest, I got more foundation coverage with this brush than I did with others. I just dabbed it once and my whole side of my cheek is covered. So it definitely moves the product and get you get the most out of your La Mer foundation with this brush already, I can tell right off the bat. Stunning. Oh my God, this is stunning. I'm obsessed with the way this brush is built also. I'm gonna do, I just dabbed a little bit more on my hand. I'm gonna go on my forehead. You also have a lot of control with this brush. Like I said before, it's not dispersing everywhere. It is going exactly where you put it and applying this foundation with this brush is honestly a breeze and right off the bat, I'm just gonna be honest, this is the best foundation brush I've ever used in my life. Compared to those guys, it puts them to shame. Morphe, Sigma, don't even compare them to this brush. 
This is in a league of its own. Wow. Wow. Oh my God. This is beautiful. Now I'm gonna take the rest of the one, I used one pump by the way, and just covered the whole right side of my face. You can see, because the whole right side of my face is warm, so you can actually see where the foundation was applied per its color, and it got my entire right side of my face, not even making it up. Now I'm just gonna go in with the second approach, which is you dab it and stipple it over your face, so. So this is just going, I might need more foundation though. This is stippling it. Honestly, already, I don't even know if I'm stippling it right. Uh, right off the bat, I'm gonna tell you guys, I like the sweeping motion much better. Stippling would probably be good for the concealer, like under your eye. Cause this definitely hugs under your eye very nice. You don't even have to press it. The way it's designed and built, is made to hug every crevice of your face. Wow, oh my, but no, the stippling actually looks more natural. Actually, I feel like I got fuller coverage. Well, let's do a little more makeup. Okay, I did half a pump. So let's start stippling the forehead. So I dotted it on and I'm just stippling. Wow. I recommend stippling for under your eye and then sweeping for the rest of your face because it does that good of a job. And you guys, I feel like people, when they use brushes, they want to be able to just sweep and be done. But in my experience, I've always had to sweep and then go in and finish it off with a beauty blender. And that's annoying because beauty blenders, even though they're really good and people really, really love them, sorry, they're just not that clean. And I always wanted a better brush. And let me tell you something, this brush is it, I am amazed, I see no streaking whatsoever in my face, both application methods. Like truly, this is great, this is amazing. I wish I bought this brush years ago, not even gonna lie. You guys, also, I'm gonna let you guys know, let's just apply, apply some concealer, but I know it can do the job very well. If you buy this brush, you won't need to buy a concealer brush. Like you're gonna have two in one with this product. So if you're buying two MAC brushes, you may as well just not do that and just go in with a $75 La Mer and it's a two in one deal and it's honestly probably a better deal than buying both a foundation and concealer brush separately. Here's the concealer. I'm gonna put a little more under my eye because I just wanna see how this is gonna perform with the brush. So it's applied under my eye, didn't use a lot. Now I'm just gonna sweep and see how it does. Flawless, flawless, it just sweep. Oh. This is worth it. Now I'm a big fan of the La Mer Cosmetic line. Now I get it. Now I get it. Wow. For La Mer to control the skincare game and be the head of its skincare game, sweep, stipple, sweep, stipple. My under eyes are flawless. La Mer, you killed it. You just ended the cosmetic game and just took how? This is a skincare company. How do you make, how does, um, Lemare, how do you do it? You guys, that is it for this video. I'm just gonna go on. I'm amazed, amazed, I'm blown away. Honestly, at this point, I can tell you guys, I'm blown away by Skin Color Day La Mer, by the products, but it is imperative at this point, if you want the full effect, you want that flawless, fast, effective, you could even save product effect, buy this brush to go with it, and you guys are set. I love you guys, thank you for tuning in. Another win with the La Mer brand, I'm obsessed. If you haven't done so already, subscribe below. Subscribe, comment, share my video with your friends, and let me know what you think of the La Mer products. And also, follow me on Instagram. You will see more of my daily activities and my stories, and I also like to post a lot. So follow me on there, and until next time, love you guys, and thank you La Mer for another great product. Love you, bye.